Do you remember fishing with your granddad? Catching tiddlers in a stream? Or tadpoles in a pond? Or walking over beautiful wild hillsides? Many of these precious childhood memories tie back to healthy wetlands. A wetland is an area of land that is either covered with water or saturated with water. And they all have their own special plants and wildlife. We have a cool and rainy climate and lots of our wetlands are covered in peat. These bogs are created over thousands of years from sphagnum moss. Bogs which form in our uplands, such as Kulka and Aniran or Sleeve Bay, are known as blanket bogs, and bogs which form in our lowlands are called lowland raised bogs. These bogs are very important for us. They reduce flood risk, they give us water to drink and use in our businesses, they make sure that water is clean, and they catch and keep carbon to help reduce climate change. But this only works if our bogs and wetlands are healthy. Did you know that 68% of Irish people get their drinking water from peatland catchments, which act as giant sponges storing and filtering the water? 8% of the world's blanket bogs are in Ireland, but we are losing them fast. A 15 centimetre thick layer of peat contains more carbon per hectare than a tropical forest. The ability of wetlands to provide these benefits depends on how we use our land and water. Currently, we are seeing more extreme floods, water quality problems, and a biodiversity crisis causing extinctions. The good news is, if we slow the flow in our wetlands and bogs, we can have a big impact on our climate and nature. Because water flows downhill, we can't sort out problems downstream if we don't find solutions upstream. Why are bogs so important in our wetlands? Bogs are part of a catchment, which is where all the surface water drains into a shared body of water like a lake or the sea. Wetlands in the different parts of a catchment manage water in different ways. In the upper areas, water is stored within the peat of our bogs. A peat bog is 80% water, and a healthy bog will have water within 10 centimetres of the surface. Healthy bogs slow the flow, as they store and slowly release the water from rain and snow. Sometimes they look dry, but the water is always there, flowing under the surface into streams and rivers. Healthy bogs reduce erosion and help prevent flood peaks downstream. In the past, large ditches were created to help with agriculture and forestry, and many bogs became ineffective and dried out. There was also a lot of damage from feet, and not just from humans, but animals too. Today we're blocking those drains and re-wetting the bogs. On coca and other blanket bogs, water flow has been slowed by adding hundreds of peat dams and coir rolls. To help with foot erosion, we're not only working with farmers to control grazing, we're also encouraging walkers to stick to properly built footpaths to help them wander safely in a sometimes hostile environment and prevent damage to delicate peat. Wetlands in the middle part of a catchment are called floodplain wetlands. These form along rivers and streams, giving them room to swell and flood. As water spreads out into a wetland, the flow slows, causes less erosion and reduces the risk of floods downstream. These floodplain wetlands are also home to lowland raised bogs and fens, which slow the flow and protect the valleys. These floodplain wetlands, bogs and fens are at risk from fertilizers and pesticides from gardens and farms, or by poorly working septic tanks. From straightening rivers to protecting housing, and making the rivers flow too fast, from too much urban development, and from drainage for agriculture, forestry and peat extraction. Healthy floodplains work by letting floods spread out and soak slowly away. If we don't slow the flow, the water heads downhill and creates higher flood peaks. Wetlands in the lower part of the catchment form where water flows into larger water bodies like lakes. Where rivers flatten and slow, they drop their load of sediment, making the water in lakes clearer and cleaner. Many lakes in Ireland are also fed through groundwater from rain that fell in the uplands and bogs and has taken years to seep through the rocks and flow into lakes through underwater springs. 
These crystal clear waters are a rich local resource of clean water for drinking or for fishing and boating. Their clarity also makes them important for wildlife. Threats to these lower wetlands include pollution from fertilizers and pesticides, invasive water weeds which thrive in stagnant unhealthy conditions, and litter and fly tipping. If we can slow the flow in the upper areas and middle regions, the lowlands will stand a much better chance of becoming healthy and vibrant. One of the easiest ways everyone can help is to be aware of the value of our wetlands and to follow simple principles of leave no trace when you're enjoying them. There are many organisations restoring and conserving our environment, but they cannot do it without support and help from communities. Working together, we can use wetlands as solutions for communities, countries, and even the world. With your help, we can ensure that our children and grandchildren grow up with the same memories we have of our healthy bogs alive with hen harriers, marsh fertilities, and snipe. And an understanding of how those bogs feed into our streams, rivers, and lakes, keeping them clean, safe and productive.